Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today's theme is going to be a little bit of a self-care vlog because as we all know, Valentine's Day is coming up. And that means we need to take extra care of ourselves as a person who is single. So that's why I'm going to be going through a series of self-care stuff like dyeing my hair. If you remember, my bangs were bleached um, before this. And I'm also going to be buying a new pair of blue light glasses which are these and I'm also going to be doing a little bit of shopping doing a little bit of reorganizing in the work aspect so yeah I've also received a couple of gifts from Anna Luisa for the Valentine's Day maybe because they know I'm not about to be receiving any other gifts is that why anyway I got some gifts from Anna Luisa as you can see I'm wearing them right now I've also been wearing their jewelry for the past few days as you will see in the coming vlog but they do have a valentine's day sale going on where you can buy one and get one 50 percent off so you can get a ton of jewelry for yourself it's such a good reason to buy jewelry like for this i just got a bunch of heart themed jewelry just to remind myself hey you are whole never let that fool you where people are like oh let's do a heart together you are your own heart that's why i got three hearts on me right now but yeah if you want to get some really high quality jewelry anna luisa is a really good option to choose because they are carbon neutral they have really unique styles and their designs are really affordable starting only at 39 us dollars so it is a really great choice if you were to gift yourself or a close one or your partner um some jewelry Personally, I really, really love their gold options. Even before they contacted me and said they wanted to send me some gifts, I already purchased from them multiple times. All of them were gold jewelries. And I just really love how like it gives off this really warm vibe and it really goes well with this Valentine's Day, even though I don't, <laughs> I don't celebrate. So yeah, wherever you are in the world, you can order from Ana Luisa. And don't forget to click my link in the description box below for a discount. Good morning guys. Today is a self-care day, which means we have the day off and we're going to eat outside and do some shopping. So as always, we have compiled a list of things we want to buy. And today we're just going to go to all of those stops to buy stuff. I also did my makeup today a little bit. Look at my lashes though. They're crazy. If you have seen the vlog of us I don't know what the vlog was called, but we went to get this 3CE mascara, which is really good. Look at, they're a little bit insane. It's everything from Uniqlo. The bag, the jeans, and the coat. And her shoes are from Converse that she bought because of Mimi from Oh My Girl. Nails. Nails, nails checks. Nails for the month. Baggy and Bean. And unfortunately, chipped. Chipped one of it. That fig and bean. Just like me. But the, yeah. I call this ugly chic. They're so ugly. <laughs> Onto my sister's OTD. She's also wearing entirely Uniqlo, except for the bag, probably, and Doc Martens. But yeah, it's just a, such a good outfit. She always dresses like this, no matter how cold it is. But today, I think it's actually a good decision because it's so hot right now for no reason. Isn't it winter? Guys, it's winter. But why is it so hot? I've never seen wind before. I forgot to mention that today I also brought my camera along with me just to take some shots because I'm finally not inside anymore. So yeah. And I'm, I think I'm finally getting a little bit more homey and pay because you think I'm not now. I have more like you got a camera, but now I'm like in carnito mode. I'm like I don't I don't give a shit. I yeah. I try. I've never eaten cheese from Pumble Pump. Yeah, that's the that's the trick. Oh my gosh. No 
就是這個box的 Quest to find hair oil has started 其實它全部都是可以用hair No, look Dying to rub my eyes, but I can't because I haven't removed my mascara. But don't worry, guys, I'm gonna take a shower after this and it will all be off. And it will look like my eyes have shrunk by 50%. It's so bad. So good. And I'm about to pack bangs using it. Yes. Yes. This is not self care. This is sister care. Ah! You got it? Oh my god. You got the Trend. thumbnail trend. <laughs> when you make a streak across <laughs> my freaking head. <laughs> Where's your manager? <laughs> I want to see your manager. You on the screen. You know that song, Event Horizon, that went viral in Korea for a really long time? I was like pushing off listening to it because I have a thing where I just reject anything that is popular and I, I will absorb that content when it's no longer, well, when it's not that popular anymore. It's, it, it's the same with Wednesday. I waited for so long until I watched it and it goes for a lot of things. And then now I'm obsessed with it. So I'm like, well, Am I okay? Like, why do I do that? Do I just have this... Am I just an annoying hipster ass? Why do I do that? Like, why don't I... Like, why do I... Why don't I want to enjoy things while people are enjoying them? I just don't want to be on the popular train. I'm a yipster. But I'm not, because every time something goes popular and I'm like, I reject it, but then I consume that piece of media and then I eat that shit right up! You're on a community nominee, like Kill Bill Lola. Yeah, oh my god. Actually, that was the one ex exception. I listened to the SOS album right when it came out and I was like, wow, Kill Bill is the best song ever. And guess what? It went viral. Because everyone's everyone needs a psychotic girlfriend. Needs? Everyone has. Everyone is. Anyway, let's catch up a little bit while I get my hair done. Some exciting news for us and for you guys. We're going to Korea in March. That is meant to be my sister's graduation trip because if you didn't catch it, I went to a graduation trip when I graduated high school and that's like kind of a tradition here in Hong Kong. But my sister didn't really get to go because COVID so we're going this march and i'm so looking forward to it because we haven't been so long but yeah my major goal for this trip to korea is that i can finally muster up some some strength to actually speak korean to koreans because i actually learned a lot of korean already and i can watch a lot of shows without subtitles but i just don't have anyone to speak it to 
so I don't really practice. And as you know, for languages, if you don't practice, it means nothing. So just hoping that I will get that extrovert inside of me out, revive her, and then be able to practice my Korean skills. Black hair equals achieved. Let me show you how I treat my hair after I washed it. That's how I whip all the water out of my hair. And now I'm gonna do my skincare. And it's the absolute same as the last time I showed you. I used this anti sebum serum. So I don't wake up with super oily skin. I'm saying Jesus Christ because Hong Kong is usually really humid, right? But these few days it's super dry. So I have to change my entire skincare routine because I will literally wake up with cracked ass skin. I w I'm usually a person with oily skin. So it's like, why? And my throat and my lips and everything else would just be dry so dry for everything else for my body for my face i only use this because um a long time ago i had this revelation of trying to simple and sim simplify and dumb down my skincare routine to make it less irritated to make my skin less irritated and i think it has worked to a very huge extent because apart from some hormonal acne i don't get other acne anymore from like external stimulation or just irritation but i do have a couple of acne because my period is coming up i actually just got the notification from my phone today that i'm gonna get so what a perfect day for self-care right and the next thing that we're gonna do is i'm gonna put on my earrings because surprise i actually keep my <laughs> earrings in when i'm sleeping because i always forget to wear them and that breaks my I'm heart. So excited! Our Suye, the carrier of Suye. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm about to pass out. It's 12 39 right now and I'm going to sleep. And I just wanted to share this one last thing with you guys is that it's this thing, it's the tea tree oil that I've been loving. Because as I said, I've been having some hormonal breakouts and some sometimes it just starts brewing under your skin and you feel the pain where the acne is brewing. And I just slap this on and it just kills it. And it never becomes a full-blown acne. It's just so much better than having to deal with it afterwards because then it leaves a scar. So yeah, I just love this lately because I've been... I've been having to use it, so yeah. I don't know why I just acted crazy. Oh, it's because I have this bracelet on. Do you love the bracelet? <laughs> Said bracelet. Oh, don't burn. She's crazy. Can't take her anywhere. Morning, you guys. I thought I'd extend the vlog, the self-care vlog, for another day because I'm just gonna be in the studio today anyway, and I want to show you guys what I've been working on and. I've low-key been trying to get myself to work in a healthier way, which is a form of self-care, so I'd also like to talk about that. And also, look at how good my hair looks now. Bleaching my bangs was a mistake, because then my face looks larger, because my face, the color of my face is so similar to the yellow. That's update, and also I got another hormonal pimple here. Poor. <laughs> Don't you just... Ah, I love periods! Equals done. Actually, I'm feeling this one. CEO! <gasps> Ooh, I look so... Thumbnail! I did a little Q&A on my Instagram for 19k, I think. And a couple of you guys were interested in how I do my journaling on this app called Paper. And I don't 
know actually what you guys would like to know about it like for example would you guys want a tutorial or just time lapse like these or just simple journal with me videos i don't know so maybe comment down below what you would like to see from me in terms of journaling on my ipad and here i'm just starting off my february with the monthly view and then i'm journaling the day writing down what i ate writing down the event for this this day in particular and this day was a work day at the studio and for some reason we have decided to listen to a couple of musical movies soundtracks so that was the thing that i journaled about in my journal i've also received a question asking me like how i decide what to write in my journal because um that person said that their days don't really have anything eventful or their days are really monotonous and for me it's pretty much the same because i work in the studio and i don't really hang out with my friends or do anything special like on a day-to-day -day basis but i like to just write about the little things just to make myself more excited about small things that happen throughout my day so maybe just write about the music or the shows that you've watched you've listened to throughout the day throughout the day and it will be a nice start to your journal good morning guys as you might have seen in the previous portions of this vlog i got new sunglasses blue light glasses and it's because i think like all of the hours that i'm awake i wear no, i look at a screen so it's pretty bad for my eyes and it causes headaches causes nausea so that's why i got some blue light glasses i was just looking into which brands to buy and i was like this brand that i've been wanting to purchase from for forever but i just did do it so i did it this time Ooh. and i've always wanted some transparent frames so this is what i got it's definitely giving off safety goggle vibes, but I'm here for it because I love transparent frames. I've never had one, but yeah, now I have one. They're not prescription glasses because in my day to day, I wear contact lenses and it would be stupid for me to take on my contact lenses and then put on my blue light glasses while at work because that would be like most of the time. But when I'm outdoors, I don't want to be wearing glasses. So that's why I got non-prescription glasses. And this is what they look like. A Loki look like that lady from Monster Thing. But she is a vibe. So yeah, I'm really happy with them. My sister also got some new glasses and we're gonna pick them up today. Yeah, that's the update. And today I think I'm gonna be editing some videos because I got these new glasses, which means I can stare at the screen for a longer period of time so I can edit this exact video. I guess a pretty substantial amount of time has passed since you last saw me, but let's have a little chat, shall we? As I've said in this vlog, in the beginning of this vlog, we are trying to work on a mode of business for our shop in a more efficient way and more businessy way, if you will. So we updated our SEO, our descriptions, expanded to Etsy, etc. And we finally got a number of sales and it is of ceramic sales, no less. Actually, we got our first sale a couple of days ago and then our second and third and then a fourth sale just today. And it's all so magical. And I'm like, this is manifesting. It feels so good that our hard work were validated. And it's just so nice. Anyway, let's move on to more lighthearted topic. And let me talk about this little gift I got myself, which is this camera that I'm filming with. As you can see, it's very wide. And it's because I wanted to have a more adequate outside vlogging setup and so I compiled my wrecked packet money and also some money that I've saved up to buy a full frame camera from Sony and a new lens from Tamron which is really wide it's like 18 to 27 
17 to 28 and it's like super wide so even when I'm just putting it out at arms reach you see way more like look at my makeup and skincare setup yeah I ordered the lens and the camera separately they both arrived today and it was like a whole journey because they wouldn't fucking update me unless I asked them like I I was asking oh is it ready yet because I was like this is not like a super popular camera or a lens so it should be ready like the day up and then they're like oh yeah it's actually ready uh, I'll text you when it's ready and when you can come pick it up or when we'll deliver everything and I'm like I never got the update so I was like oh actually are you ready because this day is ending soon and they're like oh actually you can come pick it up now I'm like why did you tell me that but as you can see I end up being super happy about this purchase because it's super high quality and it works even in this dark ass room as a close to this video let's talk about valentine's day because this video is about valentine's day let me just say that it has been a very long time since i've spent valentine's day with a valentine if i'm being completely honest i don't really feel the need to have a valentine to spend this day per se because as i grow up i just start to realize that you don't really need a valentine because i think a lot of people in a lot of ways always try to get a partner or a significant other just because they want people to talk to you they want people to listen to them they want someone as their emotional support or they want people to spend their big days with and there's nothing wrong with that but i feel like it's definitely a wrong decision if you're going into a relationship just for that and you're not looking at your partner as a person as a real person that you can connect with and respect and accept their flaws and really love as a whole and that includes things that you don't like about them as well which is something that i've also started to learn about relationships which is that there is bound to be something that you don't like about someone my friends sometimes ask me if i want to be in the relationship or why i'm not in a relationship and my answer would be yes i do want to be in a relationship i do want to be in love i want to love someone i want to be loved but am i in a rush to be in a relationship i would say no because i don't really need a relationship just for a relationship and i think when the right person comes into my life it will happen naturally and i don't really have to force anything you know so yeah that's my two cents on relationships as a 21 year old i don't know if it will change in the near future but at this point in life i'm like just focusing on myself i've got a lot to do you know what's always a good idea though? Jewelry from Anna Luisa. So don't forget to go to my link in the description or the pinned comment in the comment section below for a discount for the Anna Luisa Valentine's Day sale. You don't have to buy it for a Valentine. Just as I said, I don't have a Valentine, but I got myself some amazing jewelry anyway, just to celebrate myself. Anyway, I'll see you next time with this amazing new lens that I cannot wait to film more with.